And who am I? That's not a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me. XOXO. Gossip Girl. What's up? We got Gossip Girl. See, season four, episode 14, Panic Roommate. So this episode starts off with Chuck and Raina sleeping together because, yeah, they've been really pushing this whole Chuck and Raina thing since the last episode. Blair receiving. Yeah, Blair receiving her daily list of assignments from Epperly and Serena finding out that Ben hasn't called. Dan learning that. Yeah, and Dan learning that Ben is moving into the law. At W. I'm going to continue with this joke. At the. At the W. But. But Blair notices that Epperly is stretched too thin and with things to do. After talking with a colleague, Blair realizes the way to calm Epperly down and receive a good performance review is to get her laid. Yeah, that's their whole thing. They, the one thing to calm her down is to get her with someone. Uh, okay, a good show. Uh, yeah, so, and help her find a new party venue. At the law, Jen's... Ben's P.O. reports to Rufus that the apartment seems to be fine and leave. Ben thanks Rufus for helping him promising that, that that yeah he doesn't he doesn't mean to he doesn't mean to intrude if there's and if there's anything Dan's a problem and if Dan wants him if Dan ever wants him gone he'll leave. Rufus asks Rufus says nothing will Yeah, wait, 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 wait. yeah. So Dan, so yeah, so so Rufus says they probably won't come to that. So yeah, so Dan t asks for a moment of silence from Rufus and tells him that Ben letting him in is not a good idea, and Serena probably wouldn't be okay with it. Rufus replies that yeah, this is Serena's. This was Serena's idea, and meanwhile Eric meets up with Damien to hang out and learns that Ben jumped him recently and decides yeah that Ben's a da dangerous. Ben's dangerous and shouldn't be around his family or friends. Of course, we know that Damien's using using that, manipulating Eric and using that, but but he did jump him, but he did attack him, but he was doing it in more of a defense, more of a justified way, but Damien's using it as a way to make Ben look bad and to make it look like he's a danger dangerous person to everyone around him because Damien doesn't like Ben for some reason. At, at the Empire, Chuck tells Nate about getting Raina to fall for him and his way to stopping Russell from ruining Bass Industry. Nate encourages him to give it time, but Chuck explains that he heard that Thor Board is in, in meeting with people right that night to vote on the Equi Inquisition, the Acquisition, and time is running out. At that moment, Blair arrives at Epperly and she introduces them as they ask if they can use the Empire for a party. Chuck says it's taken, but they can use the palace. Nate asks, Blair asks Nate to show Epperly the line up Epperly the roof while she and Chuck talk about helping out each other, helping each other. At the, at the Vader Woodsons, Dan goes to see Serena. He asks her about Ben moving in and she says that he is her second chance. Dan reminds him they did spend a lot of time trying to ruin her life, but Serena says, "Yeah, he's over. He's over that, and and that was me. That wasn't his fault. That was him encouraging Juliet to do it. So basically, that was her fault. But he's over that. He's not. As soon as she says that he hasn't spoken to him since the double part W the W party, he calls and asks about." A bookcase being delivered to the law. She grabs a package and says she's on her way to explain. Eric comes home and tells Dan about Ben being a, a friend of his and asks for his help in exposing how dangerous Ben is. Back at the Empire, Chuck asks Blair for advice on winning Raina's heart. She advises him that he needs her, her to please her romantic, romantically more than sexually and he needs a common connection with her. As a follow-up, she asks him to sleep with Ep She asks him to sleep with Epperly. As a follow up, yeah, she has, yeah, but he says he can't since he'll be focused on, he'll be uh, all focused on Raina. After we Nate uh, then arrive back from the roof, and she decides that a different solution. Meanwhile, Eric brings Dan to Damien to talk about things. However, Dan refuses after seeing that Eric's friend is Damien. After the power, Rufus reminds Raina that 
Russell reminds Raina that the board needs an anonymous vote, anonymous vote, and she has to be there no matter what. They bump, bump into Chuck and ask Raina to run. Rufus agrees it's a good idea for them to be, it's a good idea for them to be seen working together and lets them be. At the law, Ben gives Raina a copy of Count Monte Cristo in the same book they read together at nightly. She agrees to return the bookcase, and he asks to go alone with her. She replies that the delivery man will be arriving soon, and they can just order in. Meanwhile, elsewhere, Nate and Blair and Apolline, Nate, Blair and Apolline are headed to lunch, where where Apolline takes a call. While she's answering, Blair demands Nate to sleep with her before he can say anything. Apolline comes back and cancels lunch to deal with the situation. At the palace, Chuck thanks 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 all of his stuff. By name, but Raina reminds him that this that business is business, and she won't feel guilty. He reminds her that he grew up there, and she admits that she understands because after her mother left, they moved to a penthouse at the Blake in Chicago, and he asked to take her out at night. Beast, but she said that she has a meeting and she can't miss. And leaves her to get her coat back at the loft. Ben and Serena are having lunch together. He apologizes for distancing himself from her, and she says it's okay. Then Dana asks him, as soon as he comes in, he she gets ready to go and leave. After she's gone, Ben tells him that he's nothing to worry about when it comes to Serena. Dan ignores him, and then sees an incoming call from Juliet. Okay, she's a mentionable character now? She's not a character anymore. She left the show, but she's a mentioned character now? Outside the palace, Chuck is on the phone. Why is, why is Juliet calling him? Maybe she's calling him to be like, Yay, he's finally out of prison. But it's weird that Kay Cassie couldn't come to the back to the show to co can come back to the show herself. Because that's either she was filming Arrow at that time, or that's why she had to run and leave the show 11 episodes in. But still. Outside the house, Chuck is on the phone with Blair while talking up Raina, hoping she'll overhear. Meanwhile, Blair is talking to him while pretending it's effortlessly sad about Nate not being interested. After they hang up, Raina ag agrees to come back and sees the hotel at Nate. And Nate admits that he probably, he, he maybe had said no to Epley too fast and agrees to hang out with her at the party. At the party, outside the Vanderwoodens building, Serena tells Blair about a date with Ben. But Blair tells her that there's a lot of similarities between Ben and Dan, and asks her if she's really wants Ben or just the idea of him. At the loft, Ben is on his way out while Dan makes subtle digs about him living there. He mentions telling Juliet. He mentions telling Juliet to give him some spray, but Dan tells him he saw Juliet call him. Ben says it's that it's their mom's birthday, and Dan replies that Serena is losing her family over him, and he shouldn't make her. Uh, Dan. If you were smart, you would know that Serena is losing her family over him because Lily did dumb stuff. This is all Lily's fault. Ben had nothing to do with this. You're just being basic. Eric and Damien have gotten to your head, Dan. This is all Be Lily's fault. She's the one who's a terrible person. At the moment, Serena calls and invites him to the W party that night, and he agrees to go. After they leave, Dan texts Eric, ask, Eric asking where he is. Back at the W, Blair convinces Apple to go to the party. At the party, Blair, Blair and Apple arrive to go say hi to Nate. Ben and Serena also arrive, and he says he's looking forward to the night. Meanwhile, Rain also goes to the party, tells Chuck she's missing her meeting. She asks if... If his hiding place if it was his hiding place as a kid, and then he mark on a hunt to see if she can find it. Also, Ben runs into Damien, who tries to provoke him, but it doesn't work. After Ben walks away, Damien tells Dan to call Ben's PO and report him on violating his parole. After Dan goes to make the call, Damien instructs Eric to hit him as hard as he can in the face. At the bar, a double a W employee tells Blair that I'm uh, gonna call it double now. It kind of cut joke in the last episode. A double employee tells a W employee tells Dale tells Blair that the party favors were delivered to the location and they and they need to fix it. But Epley is gone. 
in the restaurant and kitchen, Ryan finds Chuck's hiding spot and admits she hid in the same spot at the hotel she lived at. She promises to try and keep him from losing the palace and feeling guilty. Chuck's about to tell her the whole thing when Russell comes in and basically tells and berates Ryan for missing the meeting and forms her informs her that Chuck kept her away from purpose because he knew they were meeting out their meeting. Outside the party, Blair is telling Serena Outside out of the out of the party, Blair is telling Serena that he's leaving when Dan and Eric come up. They accuse Ben of hitting Damien and after listening to him, she begins to question it. Act four wait. Yeah. Florence plus the machine start the band the band force plus the mach Florence plus the machine starts playing starts perform. Dan comes up with Ben's PO and he admits that he called him because he was worried Ben was in danger, but Serena refuses to believe them. Chuck admits to Raina that he that he knew they were meeting and now and he, but he's really starting to follow for her. She's she's not interested and says she will never trust anything he she will never trust him again. Outside the party, Serena tries to tell Ben Pia the whole story isn't true, but then the but Ben doesn't deny hurting Damien. Back inside, Blair finds Nate alone and asks where Epley is. He explains that she left with a guy she knew from Oxford. It's clear they're gonna hook up. She then tries to recruit him to help her fix the gift bag problem. Meanwhile, Eric asks Damien if they can celebrate the victory, but Damien announces, "Yeah, he was just using Eric. Yeah, that he was just using Eric to get rid of Ben. And since and since Eric's no longer buying drugs." They have nothing, they have no. they, they basically have nothing. After Damien's gone, Eric finds Rufus and Dan and tells them that he and Damien set Ben up. Yeah, they basically, the uh, next day, Dan, yeah, Dan begins to act warmer towards Ben and tells him that he wants him to stay at the law. He also tells that Serena asked him to trust him and then she comes out of the back room. Right after, Dan leaves to meet Nate and leaves them alone. After Ranger Woodson's Eric arrives home to bring Cough to Rufus. He promises that he isn't on drugs, and Rufus tells him that Nate and Dan are heading over to Damien's to look for him. Eric admits to Rufus that he has no friend, and he was stupid for believing Damien was actually his friend. At the Empire, Chuck receives a text from Blair saying that he owes her. He's confused until Raina walks into the apartment, and she explains Blair talked to her about Nate. About Chuck, and she decides to give him a second chance. He promises to find another way to save past industry, one that doesn't involve using her. They agree to have dinner that night. After she leaves for a meeting, Chuck texts Blair to thank her. Meanwhile, Blair's at work and worried about Epley, who has been mis meeting with editor Stefano for an hour. When she finally emerges, she learns that, yeah, Epley quit her job to follow her ex boyfriend to Bali. Epley explains that since Blair was the one that helped her, See what she was missing in her life. She recommended that Blair take over. Wow. That was two episodes. We only got Emily for two episodes this season. And as of right now, Stefano is giving her a trial run. At Thorpe HQ, which at Thorpe, at Thorpe Inc., at Thorpe headquarters, Raina, Raina tells Russell that while he has her support, support to buy Bass Industries, she will give it, she won't give it if Chuck gets a chance to be a part of the new, the new company. Outside Damien's house, he arrives to find Nate and Blair, Nate, Nate, Dan, Nate. They explain that they met his dad, told him about his drug dealing, and they leave. Damien begins to, of course, panic. At the law, Serena tells Ben that about him being with him is a risk, worth risking her family, and they kiss. So, yeah, that was episode 14, Panic Roommate. Yep. Damien, Damien was exposed to Eric as basically, yeah, he was only using him to get Ben out of the way, and since Eric isn't on drugs anymore, they basically have, they mean nothing to each other. Um, two, they basically, they basically retired Epley pretty quick on this show. I know she comes back at one point, I think, but yeah, this basically means that, yeah, she basically, Blair made her realize that she was the... That she being at this job wasn't her life goal, and now she's basically giving the basically giving Blair at the new boss. Eric and Serena, Ben and Serena have decided to date because yeah, her family basically it's worth risking your family as long as as long as she dates him, and yeah, 
And where is my icon? Where is Dorota? She has not been in these mentions. Where is she? Where is my Dorota? Like, where is she? She needs to be back in the show. I miss saying Icon Dorota really much. She hasn't been in these last three episodes. Where is the icon? Or has she been in the in in my recap and the when I recap I don't mention her. But yeah. Um but thank you for bring Icon Dora back. Yeah. We got a mention from Vanya, but we didn't get a mention from Dorota yet. From Icon Vanya. But we didn't get a mention from Icon Dorota yet. So yeah. When, so yeah, so So yeah. Again, they literally just were like, yeah, so Chuck has decided so Blair was able to convince Raina to, to go back with Chuck. Um yeah, we the Nate Dad storyline kind of didn't bring brought back up. He all we know about it I mean, is that he, because of because of Nate being Nate not trusting him, he left his apartment. But yeah, that's it. That's all we know about the guy. That's all we know about him so far this season. Yeah. Not about Anne. We don't know where Anne is. We don't know where Anne is. Where is Anne? I don't know where she is. We don't know where Anne is. But yeah, I guess that's it for this video because I definitely, I don't have anything else to say really, like... But that's next time we got episode 15. Episode 15. It girl happened one night. So, yeah, what's going to happen in that one? I guess it's going to be about Serena because she's an it girl? I know there's another it girl episode in the next season. But yeah, two it girl episodes with the word it girl. But anyway, yeah, that's it for this video. And I'll see you next time for season four, episode 15. It girl happened one day. I'll see you next time. Journey on me. XOXO. Gossip girl.